Hey, it's Nathan with CurriesAdMarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about ad scheduling in the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new campaign. And it doesn't matter what your campaign objective is. The same scheduling options are available no matter the objective. But I'm gonna do sales and continue. And I'm gonna do manual sales campaign and continue. And then ad scheduling is handled at the ad set level. So we'll go down to that level. And I have videos on the campaign settings, ad set settings, and ads. So if you want more details on all that stuff, check out my channel. But in this video, we're focused strictly on the schedule. So we have budget and schedule right here. And you'll notice that we have a budget option. So we have a daily option right here. And then we also have a lifetime budget as well. Oh. Now the main difference between when you want to use one or the other will come down to a couple different factors. So daily budget is great for evergreen ad campaigns where you're basically going to run ads until your cost per objective like gets too high and it's not worth running those ads anymore. Alternatively, if you have a set time frame for when you're running an ad set, then you want to go ahead and do lifetime budget because then Facebook knows that you have, you know, like a two week time frame where you're going to be running ads. And so Facebook can use that time frame to optimize the best deliverability and results from your ads. And I have another video that goes into a little more details on the difference between daily budget and lifetime budget. Additionally, there are some different scheduling options between these two settings right here, as you'll see in this video. So we're gonna start with daily budget right here and the default is $20 a day. And so basically you'll spend an average of $20 per day, your maximum daily spend will be $25 and your maximum weekly spend will be 140. So maybe one day you're just getting really good results with your ads. Well then Facebook will go ahead and increase your budget for that day so that way you get a little more extra results because things are just crushing it that day. Whereas on other days it might not be performing as well so then Facebook will spend a little less money because it's just not generating the results that day. Then we get into schedule right here. So we have a start date and this is a mandatory field and it needs to be at some point in the future. And then there's an optional end date as well that you could go ahead and set. So if you want to stop running your ads at a certain date and time, you could go ahead and set this up. But if you have a end date in mind, then you should probably use the lifetime budget option because it gives Facebook more time to optimize your ads. So since we're doing daily budget, we're going to go ahead and turn off the end date. Down here we have budget scheduling. So under the daily budget settings, we can go ahead and increase our budget during specific time periods. So we can open this up real quick. And so this part is pretty self-explanatory right here. So you can go ahead and set a start time and an end time for this increase in daily budget amount. So let's say for example, like at the beginning of each month, you wanna kind of like flood your campaign with some new leads. So let's say that, you know, from March 1st through March 4th, we're gonna go ahead and increase our daily budget by let's do like $50 a day. Like we just really wanna flood impressions to our ads during those few days. You could go ahead and set that up and then Facebook will automatically increase your daily budget during this time frame. Alternatively, if you don't wanna do a set value, you could increase your daily budget by a percentage. So there's that option as well. And then if you wanna go ahead and add other time periods, so we have March there, and maybe I wanna go ahead and do April as well. So April, we'll do you know, April 1 through April 4 right here, and we'll go ahead and increase our budget by $50 per day from April 1st through April 4th. And you can have upwards of 50 time periods that you go ahead and set up. So there's a lot of options right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this period and remove this period. And you might see that there's an ad scheduling option right here and it says edit and we can't edit it. And that's because we're on the daily budget setting. So let's come back up here and switch over to lifetime budget. So of course, lifetime budget, we enter a budget for the lifetime of our ad campaign. So you won't spend more than $350 of the lifetime of your ad set. You'll spend more on days with more opportunities and less on days with fewer opportunities. And in this case, a start date is mandatory as well as an end date. And you can see that I'm getting a little error right here because my time has already passed. So I need to put something in the future here. And there we go. And you can see that it set a one month schedule as well, but I could go ahead and adjust it if I want to. Like maybe I only want to do a two week ad campaign, then I could go ahead and select that option like that. Coming on down here, we have budget scheduling. So increase your budget during specific time periods. So this was available when we were doing the daily budget option. However, this option is not available under the lifetime budget. Instead, we can go ahead and edit this ad scheduling option. So if we can come over here to edit and we can select to run ads on a schedule. And here's where we could go ahead and choose when we want to run our ads. So maybe you only want to run your ads when your business is open. So that way people aren't trying to engage with you when your business is closed. Or maybe you're running like a lead generation campaign and you take the weekends off. 
So it might be a good idea to run like your lead generation campaign from like Sunday evening all the way through Friday afternoon. So that way you can follow up with leads in a reasonable amount of time. And so people aren't becoming leads, you know, on Friday evening or Saturday or Sunday morning when you won't call them back for a full like 24 to 48 hours. So there's a few reasons why you might want to schedule your ads. Now, how to actually do it is pretty simple. You can see the days of the week right here down the left-hand side and the times that the ads will run. And each square is basically a three-hour block starting at 12 a.m. in the morning and ending at 11.59 p.m. in the evening. So let's say on Monday, we'll want to run ads from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You just click your cursor, drag it over, and select all those blocks. On Tuesday, let's say we want to only do even hours. So you can just easily click each block when you wanna go ahead and run your ads. So it's pretty self-explanatory and kind of visually pleasing to do. And if you mess up, you can just click on it and it'll remove itself from that area. Now, if you wanna go ahead and set the schedule for like all the days in the week, you can come down here to every day and you could go ahead and just drag your cursor over and select hours when you wanna run the ads for every day in the week. And there's one other setting I wanna go ahead and show you, which is the time zone. So the default is to use the viewer's time zone. And the other option is to use this ad account's time zone. And in my case, it's Eastern time. So then if I use this option, you know, the ads will show from five in the morning until 6 p.m. Eastern time. But then if somebody was on the West Coast and Pacific time, then they would see the ads from 2 a.m. until 3 p.m. their time. So you just wanna pay attention to this setting and set it so it makes sense for you and your business. And so that's pretty much it for scheduling your ads. As you can see, there are some differences between selecting the daily budget versus the lifetime budget. And so these scheduling options may also come into play when selecting which one you wanna choose for your advertising efforts. So anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazymarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.